Hey guys! So I've gotten a lot of requests about the surprise bouquet blanket pattern and a lot of people have been asking for a video tutorial so I decided, yeah, why not? Um, for the time being, I'm only going to release it in a part-by-part -part series just because the blanket is so big and will take a lot of time. Um, and then later on, I'll probably post one video containing all the tutorials. And I just wanted to say that this isn't a full-on tutorial, it's more of a crochet along. I'm only going to be going slow-mo for the more important difficult stitches, and I will still expect you to know the basic stitches. So with that said, let's get started! So the first thing we're going to do is make a magic ring, and we are going to double crochet 12 times into the magic ring, starting off with the chain 2. And I should mention that the chain 2 is not going to be included in our stitch count. So one, two, and so forth. I'm leaving this tutorial on real time speed. I will not be fast forwarding it so that the people who would like to see things slower or step by step can watch more easily. And also so that people understand just how much time this blanket will take. If you feel the need to fast forward or skip ahead, please do. We're going to pull on the tail to cinch the ring shut, and then we're going to do a slip stitch into the top of the chain two. Now we're on round two, so we're going to go ahead and start the round with the chain two, and then we are going to increase double crochet in every stitch, and that should leave you with 24 stitches. And now we have our second round. You can see the circle is really starting to form. And now we will close the round with a slip stitch again. 
Okay, so we're going to start round three, and this is probably the most difficult one because this is where we establish the stems. So please bear with me here. We are going to start the round like normal with a chain two. And then we're going to do two double crochets. Now we're going to do the hard part, which is the front post double crochet. So what you're going to do is look at the post, and you're going to insert your hook through the post, or behind the post, like so. And you're going to yarn over, pull up the thread, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's your front post double crochet. That'll be the beginning of your next step. And then we're going to take the double crochet one, and then increase double crochet in the next step. And we'll repeat this process all the way around. I should also mention that an FPDC in the same stitch as a DC is equivalent to one increase. Kind of see the lines start to form. They're evenly spaced out and they're on about every other thing. Once again, you can kind of see these little ridges that come from the FPDCs that serve as the vines. And then, as per usual, we're going to close the round with a slip stitch. Okay, so round four, we're going to start like normal with a chain two. And then we're going to do two double crochets. 
And now we've reached the vine again. And what we're gonna do is increase on the FPDC to the FPDC. So here's the first FPDC. And then we're going to do another FPDC around the same post. And this will serve as our increase for the vine. And you can kind of see now there's two vines originating from the same spot. And now we're going to do two normal double crochets and increase normally with the double crochet. And we'll repeat this process all the way around six times. And then we're going to close off round four with a slip stitch. 
And you should be able to see all the little vines spaced out and how they doubled up on round four. And now we're going to build off of this in round five. So chain two, you're going to do one double crochet, two double crochets, three double crochets. And this is actually where our increase is going to be, because now we're going to FPDC around the same post that it originated from. So go ahead and do an FPDC there. And then we're going to do an FPDC in the next FPDC. So this kind of gives the vines a little more thickness. There's technically two vines there, you know? And then after that, proceed like normal, we're going to do Three double crochets. One, two, three, and then you're going to in increase double crochet. And then we'll repeat that all the way around six times. And then two FPDCs. And then three double crochets. And then an increased double crochet.
are going to, once again, slip stitch into the top of the chain two to finish off round five. And there you have it. So these are rounds one through five. You can kind of see the definition of each vine where the FPDC is replaced, evenly spaced. And that's it for now. So that was my tutorial for rounds one through five of the Surprise Bouquet Blanket. I really hoped it helped at least a little bit. Um, these are meant to be supplements of the actual pattern, so you can find those on studentmademarquette.com and Etsy. That would help support me as an artist, but also support you because you get all these different step-by-step -step photos and then the written instructions, all the notes, the details on how to change things, everything. So I highly recommend buying the pattern itself. I do want to say this is my first time making a crochet video tutorial. So if you have any advice on how I can do that better, please let me know down in the comments. Um, stay tuned, subscribe if you want to see more video tutorials going forward. I'm probably going to be working on the leaf tutorial next and eventually do the vines and flower tutorials. And then eventually I will be releasing a full-on tutorial for the whole blanket. But for the time being, I hope you have a splendiferous day.